Hey there, let's play the Wordle and Country Ale for July 16th. Yesterday's Country Ale answer was Brazil. And as always, if there's a cute furry animal that applies, I like to use it. And Finland gave me two choices of sloth and tapir, and I think I'll go with sloth because who doesn't love a sloth? I mean, honestly. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Okay. Well, we've got two letters, so that's a good start already. Unfortunately, we don't have their locations. I guess you can't have everything. How about Mount? Interesting. Okay. Maybe it starts with T. What could that be? I mean, otherwise T is third. I wonder if it's like O-T-E-R. What would that be? Voter? It's not. Okay. Well, we know it's this. Uh, Toddy. No. Oh my goodness. All right. Let's stop and slow it all down. Topic. Oh my goodness. Uh oh. Topaz? Oh. It's a good thing that wasn't a word. <sighs> wow, that was <laughs> that was tricky. See, this would have been an amazing opportunity to start with pizza if I had known, but unfortunately I don't think Brazil is known for its pizza, so. If only it had been Italy. <laughs> At least I got it. That was tough. Wow. All right. Well, <clears throat> maybe a tough wordle means an exciting country. -el. Shall we find out together? Does Topaz have anything to do with Canada? It doesn't. Ooh. America's in the South again. Interesting. How about Uruguay? Well, if you spell it right, that helps. It was Uruguay. Wow. Two days in a row, I get it in two. That's pretty cool. Well, does Uruguay have any cute furry uh, animals if that have five-letter names? Uh, if so, feel free to leave those in the comments. If not, then leave another suggestion in the comments for a starting word for tomorrow's Wordle related to Uruguay. And I will see you then for more Wordle and Country -o.